Welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel, guys and girls, and credit for this iOS screen recording find goes to iOS Muse, who contacted me on Twitter. I was aware of his screen recorder before, but he gave me the push to actually do a video about it. Let's give you a brief history lesson on this iOS screen recorder. It did appear very briefly, as iOS screen recorders always do, in the App Store just before Christmas, and it was simply called Screen Recorder. It lasted a few days before being chucked, so they've now presumably rebranded it and made it available outside of the App Store, and it's called VisoRec. And this is how you can get it. Simply point your Safari web browser to visorec.com. I'll leave a link in the video description. And a very simple download process, this one, tap the green install button. That should bring up a pop-up and that should then put the application on your device. And since this is an application that's been downloaded from outside of the App Store, you know what you're going to get. It's the untrusted enterprise developer error. To fix that, go to settings, general, scroll down to profile and device management. Find a certificate that it's currently attached to, trust it, red trust, and that should get you into the application. And of course, that means that the certificate at some point is going to get revoked. So you're going to have to download the application again, which adds the further warning of making sure that you take all of your screen recordings immediately outside of the app, because when a certificate does get revoked, you're going to lose those screen recordings. And now let's do a rundown of some of the options in VisoRec. The first thing it's going to ask you for is access to your microphone, which is good news. That means it's going to do some audio recording through the microphone, but not internal sounds. And we'll get onto that a little later. So we obviously want to accept that. The main screen is simply two options, start a video recording or go to your previously recorded videos. Now let's take a look at the settings. We'll start at the bottom first. Here we have the toggle for recording audio from the microphone. So if you turn that off, that's not going to record internal sounds. It's just not going to record any audio from the microphone. We also have some video quality settings. Goes as low as 15 frames a second, maybe helpful for devices which are a couple of years old, and goes up to 30 frames a second. A little disappointing, you always want to see 60 frames a second, but not in this case. Okay, moving to the top section of the settings, which are somewhat controversial, but they do make this application free. Max saveable length, currently set to one minute. And what this means is you can record on VisoRec for as long as you like, but at some point you need to get this video outside of the application onto your photos. And the max saveable length limits what length of video you can save onto your photos. In order to increase that, you need to tap Add More, which is then going to put a video advert on your screen, which usually lasts about five seconds. And once you close that down, you'll get a pop-up saying that you've increased that max saveable length time by 30 seconds. So, for example, if you wanted to do a three minute video recording, you would have to press that, what, five times to get it from 30 seconds to three minutes. So that's probably the really irritating aspects of this application, but it does make it free, and I kind of see the reasoning behind it. They want to try and generate some income for this application. They're not charging you, they're just making it a bit of a pain in the ass to do a proper screen recording. Anyway, let's do a screen recording and see what happens. We'll go back to the main screen, press the start button, and it doesn't give you any further options here, it just chucks you straight back to the home screen and starts a recording, so very quick. And notice that it didn't ask you for an orientation. Basically, it will start screen recording in whatever orientation it's set at when you press the start button. So we'll do a few swipes just to get something on screen. We'll go to my as now much lamented Clash of Clans village, which everyone keeps complaining about, saying TH9 Rush, whatever that means. But as you can see, I've really not maintained this at all, and people keep rendered it and stealing all my free resources. VGJ Felix, if you want to get some freebies on that game. Anyway, to stop a recording, you simply go back to the application, and that automatically stops the recording. All well and good. And you will find after another advert, <laughs> these do often pop up. After the adverts disappeared, if you go to the video list, you will see that the recording has automatically been saved into the list. You can delete it by swiping to the left if you want to, but let's have a look at the video. And we'll just turn the sound up here to make sure that it did record the audio.
So everything seems to be working fine there. What we'll do now is copy it into our photo gallery, which is save to camera roll. And now it's going to talk about the fact that it's a video length of 40 seconds, max saveable length is 1 minute 30. So we do have enough time here to uh, save it. So we'll tap the continue save and that will then do the video exporting process. And once that's finished, we'll take a look in the photo gallery and see what we have. First time it does a conversion, it's going to ask you for access to the photo application, which it obviously needs to. All that's done. Let's now go back into the main home screen, go to photos, and we'll find it in the camera roll. And let's give it a play, see if it's still working. And it seems to be working fine. And another thing to note is if you see along the bottom here, we have full tracking options. It looks as if it is a good encoding video quality, which means that we don't have the same problems as Airshow, where you have to put it into a video editor to re-encode it. This thing works very nicely. So that is another positive added benefit. Another feather in Visorex cap is the ability to record without any access to the internet. And I'll prove that now. If I go to the control center, set it to flight mode, and then try and start a recording, usually on applications such as Airshow, it would say that it requires access to the internet. But that's not the case in Visorex. It just chucks you straight back to the home screen, starts a recording. So if you have no access to the internet, but you do want to record something that doesn't require the internet, then you are absolutely fine to do so. Just to prove that, we'll go back to the application that stops the recording, go to the video list, and this 10 second video is the one I just did a recording on with no access to the internet. So a very useful additional option. If we copy the recording onto a computer, we can have a look at the file properties and see that it doesn't record in 1080p, nor does it record in 720p. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. As for the frame rate, well, they're bang on, it is 30 frames a second. In terms of encoding, this is a very friendly video file. I was able to copy it onto a video editor and make changes without any glitching or any issues that you might usually find with something like Airshow. This is the screen size we end up with on a 1080p screen, but we can stretch that to fill screen and it doesn't look much different. The quality is pretty much the same and this is what it sounds like. My personal opinion is that although the resolution is a little low, you hardly notice it, the frame rate is spot on and consistent and the audio sync is perfect. And that sometimes is something you lose out with screen recorders such as Airshow and video on certain games. So how do we summarize Visorec? Well, first of all, let's have a look at the positives. It's free, that's always a good start. The recordings tend to be reliable, it's not dropped out on me yet. And the final quality is pretty good, although the resolution is a little low. We've got good audio sync and decent frame rate, which is consistent. The final encoded file that you get from Visorec is very friendly to iOS devices in terms of video editing and for PC and Mac. And let's not forget, this screen recorder can record without having to connect to the internet, and not many other screen recorders can boast that feature. As for the negatives, well, 30 frames a second is the limit that it can record at, you don't get any uh, resolution quality options, and it offers nothing new in terms of recording audio. It takes it from the microphone, which can be patchy as many people often complain about. And of course, the one big annoyance that you have to watch those adverts in order to up your recording sessions by 30 seconds every time is going to be very frustrating if you want to do very long recordings. You know, if it didn't have that drawback, this would be a serious contender to Airshow's crown. As for now, I think this is just a very reliable backup for when the certificate gets revoked on Airshow. Anyway, you now know where it is, so you can download it and try it yourself and let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, if you have any questions about this or any other iOS screen recorder, then don't hesitate to ask a question. If you want more iOS screen recording content, then the Video Gadgets Journal is the channel for you to subscribe to. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.